Good morning, Glacier. It's Friday, April 23rd. I'm Shell, and here are today's announcements from the GTV episode. I'm sure most of you have heard that Mr. Hours will not be back at GHS next year. We caught up with him for this update. Uh, I think this is servant leadership that we have here as a student body and, and as a staff. Um, everybody is looking out for each other and helping each other and serving each other, whether it's each other in the school. Um, we look to, to help serve in the community with Salvation Army, the Giving Tree, and certain food drives and, and activities that we do, and also other schools. Um, we've we supported the Billings School Districts and other schools within the within the area, and just to be able to be servant leaders and serve others in all that we do, and just and feel and. and good about that because we just want to help. Um, I don't have one. Um, I look back at the beginning of the year and how everybody, the, the students and staff came together to get the campus ready and uh, beautify it um, for the opening and then welcoming everybody back um, and to, you know, the things that we've done through the year with this, uh, the students and the staff just working together through the, the COVID issues and the hard times that we've had with that. And, you know, we looked at, um, you know, the scholar ceremony. We were able to celebrate that. We just had a great prom and I really look forward to just celebrating the, the end of the year with graduation and, and just bringing that together and, and just celebrating the great things that we've done this year and made it through. Um, well, it's just been a great opportunity here. I just really appreciate everyone's support, even though it was only for a year. Um, I hope that it just brought a lot of good and uh, we were all able to work together through it. And just looking forward to obviously being with my family. Um, me and my wife have been back and forth every weekend since the beginning of the year. And it's just been a, a tough uh, transition, but we look forward to being together and uh, celebrating the birth of life and having a child in November. And, uh, and we'll just go from there. I guess the favorite memory of working with uh, Mr. Hours is, um, I think every Monday when we come in to work, he's excited to be here, he's ready to go, uh, just has a positive attitude each and every day, and I think that gets us going off on the right foot, and uh, he does a great job with that. So my favorite part of working with Mr. Hours is um, his sense of humor and um, empathy for the staff and students this year. It's been a rough one and he's been a great guy to have in charge this year. Um, we'll miss Mr. Hours and uh, you know just his friendly attitude, the way that he interacts with students, uh, the way that he interacts with our administrative team. We'll miss him. Uh, we wish him the best of luck. He's done a nice job here of taking care of our kids and, and, and really taking great care of our staff during a challenging, challenging year. It's Friday, which means it's time for the GTV Athlete of the Week. Several worthy candidates this week, including Rory Smith, Kenzie Williams, Caleb Bernhardt, Sammy Labram, Ella Farrell, and, and Kennedy Gennett. But this week's Athlete of the Week is senior Kenzie Mole from the Wolfpack softball team. I bought, I bought. Uh, the Capitol game for us went really well. We got off the bus and played amazing for being our first on the road trip. Um, I hit three home runs out of my four at-bats and the last time I went up to bat, they intentionally walked me, so I was a little sad, but. So one thing we have always known about Kenzie from her freshman year is that she's extremely talented and she works really hard both in season and in the off season. Um, but as she has developed as a player in our program, she's just continued to develop really strong leadership skills uh, to motivate her teammates and continues just to be a really dominant presence in the state. Um, I'm going to play for the Grizz next year. So I've been, I practice every day with the Glacier team and then me and my dad practice catching every day after practice for about an hour and then I hit almost every weekend so. Um, Kenzie's a great leader. She really steps up and uh, inspires her teammates to do better um, and she always brings a really high level of competitive competitiveness to the team uh, as well and she's pushing us to really just be our best uh, The goals for this season are obviously to make it to state and I think we will do some damage at state. We have a pretty good shot and then the rest of my goals are just to have fun and be a good teammate. Congrats, Kinsey. And now, and here's what you need to know. Don't forget to check out the job board outside of the Career Center. A bunch of summer job opportunities are on the board and are added every day. 
Girls and boys basketball open gyms are at 6 a.m. and run Monday and Friday mornings for the remainder of the school year. Open gyms are open to everyone interested in playing Wolfpack basketball next year. Are you, in a, are you interested in serving as a camp counselor for the Wolfpack Theater and or the Wolfpack Speech and Debate Camps at the end of June? The Wolfpack Theater Company hosts two camps, acting camp and performance camp, while the Wolfpack Speech and, and Debate Team hosts the Middle School Summer Talk Down Speech and Debate Camp and Tournament. Online applications for counselors are available on the Wolfpack Theater and Wolfpack Speech and Debate websites. The application is due April 28th. See Mr. Atkins or Ms. Fritz it's for more information. Limited tickets are now available for the Wolfpack Theater Company's production of The Odyssey, which will be performed on April 27th and 28th in the Wolfpack Theater. Tickets are available at the main office and at Folio Video, Folio Video Plus. Best of luck to the Wolfpack tennis team. On Saturday, the team hosts Big Sky and Sentinel at our home courts. Also, best of luck to those competing virtually at the national competition for DECA, which wraps up today. All the announcements and GTV episodes can be found on the school website. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to respect yourself, respect others, and respect the building. And remember the three W's of the Wolfpack way. Wash your hands, wash your distance, and wear a mask.